The red curve on the top half of the plot shows the force exerted by the hammer on a compressed scale centered around the point of impact at one-tenth of a meter. The bottom half shows the force and the two strings, one flexible, one stiff, plotted on a scale that spans the length of the string. Now we'll change scales now, now that the hammer has subsided and you see the flexible string in blue and the stiff string in green. Note that the stiff string is beginning to lead the flexible string and also it has a different shape. Now this graph shows the signal radiated to the surrounding air from the string. At every instant, an average is taken over the string, generating the data for this graph. Note how the flexible string in blue maintains its shape over the 35 milliseconds of simulation. The green curve showing the stiff string indicates that it is still changing shape as of 35 milliseconds of sampling time. Now we'll take a look at the spectra of these two strings. The uh, blue curve is the spectrum for the flexible string. The green curve is the spectrum for the stiff string and the red lines show the locations of the theoretical harmonics of the 200 Hertz fundamental. You can see that the fundamental for the stiff and the flexible occur the same place. However, the third harmonic shows that the stiff string power point occurs at about 600 and 30 hertz, whereas the flexible string occurs right on the third harmonic spot of 600 hertz.